أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة لأهل التقوى واليقين والصلاة والسلام على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين روحي وارواح العالمين لتراب مقدمه الفدا واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم المعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله ويا إن منطف رمضان guests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is one of the greatest opportunities in a Muslim life to witness the month of Ramadan and to take benefit from this holy month. And we need to try and set our priorities right. Many times what is less important becomes more important to us and what is more important is forgotten or sidelined. If things are set properly then everything will come to its way by itself. And as we improve our lives in this month, it will show in the next 11 months. Some of the scholars believe that we prepared ourselves during the 11 months for the month of Ramadan. You improve during 11 months to do everything correct, to do everything perfect in the month of Ramadan. During the month of Ramadan, the first three weeks you prepare for Laylatul Qadr. And after Laylatul Qadr, you set your timetable for the oncoming year. Some of the greatest scholars have said that Laylatul Qadr is truly for the 12th Imam as it is Tanazzalul Malaikatu wa Ruhu fiha bi idna rabbihim min kulli amr. Malaika and Ruh come down on to whom? With every affair. Bin Kulisha, you know, everything they bring on to the twelfth Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. So there is who you know Ulil Amr who has every Amr, every affair come down on to him. And that is Sahibu Zaman alayhi salatu wasalam. Allah Matabatabai. Allah Mahala Muhammad. Allama Tabatabai when asked which verse is the clearest and the greatest proof on the existence of 12th Imam alayhi salam. He said this verse of Surah Qadr, Tanazzalul Malaikatu wa Ruh. It is not past tense, it is not Tanazzalul Malaikatu. That once Malaika and Ruhul Amin came down. No, it is Tanazzalul Malaikatu, which is Tatanazzalul, Mudare. Present continuous. Present continuous. So whenever Laylatul Qadr comes, Malaika and Ruhul Amin come down onto earth to give the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about every affair. Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin hakim. In this night is distributed every wise affair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is Laylatul Qadr that the greatest blessings and everything comes down onto the Imam al -Islam. I'm not translating the word Amr. Some say it is command. Whatever you want to translate that as. But the Holy Quran says, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الرُّوحِ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي and when they come and ask you about ruh, tell them that it is also one of the amr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Command or order or affair of Allah. Everything is amr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rizq is amr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there has to be an imam on whom the wahi is sent about the details of all the people. So it is truly Laylatul Qadr for Sahibu Zaman al-Islam that angels come to his service. We also take benefit of this Laylatul Qadr. 
we try and benefit because it is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Ummah of the Holy Prophet that one night is better than a thousand months because this week is the week of Amal because it will have the three Layali Al-Qadr I'm just trying to show you the importance whenever you compare you compare things which are alike Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should have said Laylatul Qadr khairum min alfi for example Layla one night is better than a thousand nights but Allah does not say one night is better than a thousand nights he says Laylatul Qadr khairum min alfi shahr one night is better than a thousand months in one month there are 30 nights Allah says one night is better than a thousand months 12 months in a year so over 80 over 83 years of ibadat in one night but we will all not get the same sawab everyone's sawab will be different the reward according to the intention purity and so many other things but you have the opportunity to acquire sawab of over a thousand doesn't say it is equal to it doesn't say Laylatul Qadri Yusavi or Tusavi Alf Shahar it is equal to 1000 months no it says Laylatul Qadri Khairum Min Alf Shahar it is better than one night is how much better we don't know but one night is better than a thousand months one night so in one night you will be traveling the distance of 1000 months over a thousand months who would leave this journey why, why do I say journey Sayr. it is a journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a journey in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a Sayr. it's a journey so the Sa'ir the traveler should make sure that they are well prepared if you have a long journey ahead of you, you prepare yourself. If I'm going from here to London, back to London, then I will prepare myself accordingly. It's a long journey, so what if I need water? What if I need food? Will the aeroplane give me this? I'll prepare myself. If a journey is only one night, but it gives me the speed of over a thousand months, within one night I will prepare accordingly I will say that I will take the maximum benefit so within one night I'm going to be traveling over a thousand months of traveling over a thousand months of traveling in one night so I make sure that I rest well I make sure that I I'm mentally prepared psychologically strong I make sure that when everything is happening I am aware of what is going on in all of those amal I understand what I am doing it is a night that you become so close to the Almighty to the 12th Imam al -Islam too so let's take the maximum benefit the Imam al was asked, Mawla, do you not know which one of these three nights is Laylatul Qadr? He said, if we don't know, then who knows? Laylatul Qadr is truly for us. Tanazzalul Malaikatu upon whom? The Holy Prophet after him, Ali ibn Talib al-Salam, then Imam Hassan al-Salam, Imam Hussain. So today it is for the Imam. Of course we know. Then why don't you tell us which night is Laylatul Qadr so we don't have to do amal for all three nights the Imam said this is why we don't tell you so you're not deprived of the amal in other two nights you take benefit prepare yourself for the first two nights into the third night which the Imam has said the third night is the most important but let's prepare 
during this week that we do not miss this opportunity of going on to this journey of 1,000 months in one night. Some of the have mentioned that Fatima to Zahra Salamullah Aleha would keep up even small children. Even small children, she said, no, stay up. Take the maximum benefit in this night. In your amal, make sure two people are present. Elderly and children. Elderly, usually people who grow white, but usually people over 70. They are elderly, truly elderly. People like me who just have a few white hair are not elderly because we are not yet that age. But Ahadi say anyone 70 and over. Have the elderly present. Mola, why? Because because of their old age and weakness, angels come down to take the amal of everyone. Because of the elderly, the amal are accepted. And because of the children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the du'as. Elderly because they are weak, and children because they are innocent. Allah accepts the amal of everyone. Was it not for the children in the hands of the mothers? I would destroy the people because of their sins. So even if they are sleeping, but if the children are present, our amal are accepted. If the elderly are present, our amal are accepted. And make sure two categories of people are not present. You don't know, so they have to look at themselves and not come. Or rectify and then come. First category, who do qat e rahim who break ties with their family members. Because of qat e rahim qat e rahim the amal of all are rejected sometimes. My teacher used to always say, if any one of you have qat e rahim then don't come to our amal. Because of you, our du'as will be rejected, our amal will be rejected. So, Qat-e-Rahim, if you break ties with your family members, then make sure that you go and apologize or make ties again, then come. And secondly, who have been disowned by parents, uquq walidain someone who has been aq of walidain Make sure you go and apologize. If they are not living, then go to their grave and beg them, forgive me. For there is no accountability for the person who has been disowned by the parents. No accountability, no hisab kitab. Straight to hell. Without any accountability, a person who is disowned, aqibalidain, without any accountability goes to hell. So make sure that these two things you do. In this month, let's take the maximum benefit and in this night, on coming nights, Take the maximum benefit. We alhamdulillah happen to have Laylatul Jum'ah and Shabi, you know, Laylatul, Laylatul Qadr together. The 23rd night and Shabi Jum'ah itself this year will be together. Next Shabi Jum'ah is Laylatul Qadr. So let's set our priorities right. Sometimes people think, well, my work or something else will be more beneficial. I have to go to work, take a day off if you can't handle the full amal, but do the amal properly. It, it will decide many, many things. And now we have so many young deaths, no one knows who will be there for next year or who will not be. So make sure we take the maximum benefit of Layali Al Qadr, an opportunity that Shaheed Asani, one of our greatest fuqaha, Shaheed Asani, he stayed up every night for one year. He used to stay up every night for one complete year. The student asked him, why do you do this? He said, because I want to make sure that if Laylatul Qadr is not in the month of Ramadan, it's somewhere else, 
then I don't miss it at least once in my lifetime I have benefited from Laylatul Qadr once in lifetime so stay up all night one of the most important about that is just staying up in that night to learn something new Mafatil Janan Sheikh Abbas Qumi says to learn something new is most beneficial Imam Muhammad al-Baqir alayhi salatu wa salam was asked Mawla if I had only one day left of my life what should I do that will be most beneficial for me in the hereafter what should I do what is the most beneficial thing for me to do that will be the most beneficial in the hereafter in my qabr on the day of judgment on the day of qiyamat on mizan on sarat what is one thing i could do in my last day the imam alayhi salam said learn something new learn something new which is beneficial for you which is useful for you that is the best thing you can do if you have only one day left two big ulama were friends were always debating each other one day they had a debate and they could not resolve an issue they were discussing an issue one gave his proofs the other one gave his they could not resolve it years passed by one of them heard the other one is very sick he's so sick that he may be dying he said I'll go and visit him came to visit him and as soon as he entered the room said salam the other person said you remember once years back we had a debate he said yes he said there was an issue we could not resolve he said yes he said did you resolve it because I didn't he said yes I resolved the issue he said please teach me before I die teach me before I die so he taught him he said this is what I resolved it to he said thank you the second scholar says I got up and I left when I came out I heard the family started crying so I went back and said what happened they said he died you see even in the last of the moments learning something new the scholars are always after let's learn something new our best book in tafsir is known to be al mizan if you go to the last volume volume number 20 it says alhamdulillah i completed in laylatul qadr so even after amal he left it and completed in laylatul qadr why because one night is better than a thousand months in that night completion of a good deed gives you the thawab accordingly the thawab is accordingly so the best book in tafsir the best book in fiqh is known to be jawahirul kalam 43 volumes by sheikh muhammad hassan najafi rahmatullahi alayhi. over 100 years over 150 probably almost 175 years back before Sheikh Murtaz Ansari they asked him also if you look in volume number 43 he says I completed in Laylatul Qadr hmm? so they would leave for example the last few lines to complete in Laylatul Qadr so they write through the year and in Laylatul Qadr they say I'll write the last few lines he said today now it's complete One of the great teachers in Qubba Muqaddas used to always say, Oh Allah, if I did not have ikhlas in the beginning of my deeds, then give me ikhlas at least towards the end of my deed. Towards the end. So even during the first 10 days we did not have ikhlas, half of the month of Ramadan is now gone let's try and get the ikhlas for the second half first ten nights are nights of rahmah second ten nights are 
Nights of Maghfirah. Now we're going through Maghfirah. Let's have Maghfirah. Allah is giving it away. You know, sometimes you go to a shop, the price is high. Then you have a sale. Yes? They're giving it very cheap. Same thing, but the price is much less. Then they say it's a clearance sale. We want to clear everything, everything off. Very low price. Allah says it is a clearance sale for Maghfirah. And then comes a time, Allah says it is all free in the last ten nights. Ijaba. The angels stand between the heavens and the earth and say, Is there anyone to beg for Maghfirah? Allah is distributing Maghfirah, giving it free. Anyone asking? At least do dua that I get the Maghfirah. If you cannot do the amal, at least make sure you do the dua to get maghfirah. So these are the best times. Even though shaitan has been tied up, but we still see people sin. Because the nafs has now changed so much so, that without shaitan we still have inclination towards evil. Oh my messenger, have you seen the one who has taken his hawa and nafs, his evil desires to be his God? Hawa and nafs becomes God. Last thing I want to say, as the time is short and ending, internationally we are facing a lot of difficulties. Iraq has gone through a lot. They've just been through an election. The entire country is divided in the, those elections. So we pray that inshallah, after all of these hardships, they learn a lesson and they stay united. Sometimes big enemies come, beat you, beat you, beat you. You never still learn. Learn a lesson. Saddam has now gone. It is our turn. We should learn. Syria has now for over seven years continuously seen a turmoil. It was a country of 22 million population. 12 million people have either died or fled the country. 12 million. And yet, still, the enemies, the rebels, the people who are sponsoring the rebels have no fear. They've destroyed the entire country. Hospitals, universities, schools, everything destroyed. Palestine is going through problems. Yemen the poorest Muslim country, uh, the poorest Ar uh, Arabian country, yes? Saudis don't even have targets to hit in Yemen now. The same milk factory they've bombed three times. The cement factory they've bombed four times. The same targets they keep hitting over and over again. Why? What do they do? Bahrain, Nigeria, so many countries. Kashmir, still going through turmoil. Afghanistan again. Most of the Daesh soldiers have moved from Iraq and Syria to Afghanistan. Over 70,000 have now moved in. You've seen the problems in the past few weeks. So many suicide bombings and attacks. More than 70,000 soldiers of Daesh from Iraq and Syria have now been moved, we know by whom, to Afghanistan. So who will face the consequences? Afghanistan and its neighbors. We pray during these difficult times that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all the mu'mineen across the globe. Oh Allah, there are many people who are going through difficult times. Parvardigara, tuja vasa abne zato jalal ka, tuja vasa abne habib ka, tuja vasa is Quran ka jus mahine me nazil hua, tuja vasa us maula ka, us imam ka, jis ki jis imam alayhi salam ki is mahine me shahadat hai, parvardigara. تو جو واسطہ آل محمد علیہ السلام کا مؤمنین جہاں جہاں بسے ہیں ان کے جان مال عزت عبرو کی حفاظت فرما جتنے مؤمنین بے اولاد ہیں ان کو اولاد انعیت فرما مقروضوں کے قرضے عداب فرما پریشان حالوں کی پریشانیاں دور فرما ہمارے مولا اور آقا صاحب الزمان علیہ السلام کے ظہور میں تعجیل فرما بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والعصر ان الانسان لفی خسر اللہ الذین آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواسو بالحق وتواسو بالصبر صدق الله العليل
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وعلى اله الطيبين الطاهرين والصلاة والسلام على محمد النبي الرحمة اللهم صل على محمد والصلاة والسلام على علي نمير المؤمنين وعلى فاطمة بنت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وعلى الحسن والحسين السيدة شباب أهل الجنة أجمعين والصلاة والسلام على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الحجة القائم المهدي المنتظر اللہم عجل فرجہ و ساحل مخرجہ پروردگارہ دنیا کے اندر اس وقت ظلم بڑھ چکا صاحب الزمان کے ظہور میں تعجیل فرما ہماری گنہگار آنکھوں کو ہمارے مولا راقہ کی زیارت نصیب فرما پروردگارہ جہاں جہاں مومنین بسے ہیں سب کے جان مال رضابرو کی حفاظت فرما ہمارے مقامات مقدسہ کی حفاظت فرما خصوصاً عراق و شام کے تمام روضوں کی حفاظت فرما ہم سب کی آقبت بخیر فرما پروردگارہ ہم سب کو ان شبہائیں قدر سے استفادہ کرنے کی توفیق نایت فرما پروردگارہ ہمارے گناہانِ قبیرہ و صغیرہ اس مہینے میں معاف فرما ہماری تمام عبادات کو نمازوں کو روزوں کو اپنی بارگاہ میں قبول فرما پروردگارہ جو ہاتھ بلند نے کسی کو رد نہ فرما ہمارے تمام مریضوں کو شفائے کاملہ آجلہ نایت فرما پروردگارہ امت مسلمہ کے حالات بہت سا خراب ہیں سب کی حفاظت فرما پروردگارہ جہاں جہاں پہ مومنین بسے ہیں پروردگارہ ہم سب کو خصوصا آئندہ آنے والے برسوں کے اندر اپنی آنکھوں سے امام زمانہ کی زیارت نصیب فرما ربنا تقبل منا انکہ انت السمی العلیم بحق محمد و آلہ الطیبین الطاہرین المعصومین سلوات